address Justin Trudeau. It should be Canadian citizens first, Canadians who have paid taxes their entire lives. He's cutting support to seniors, to the veterans. He's, he's doing all kinds of things that he wants to do. You, you look at what's happening just off the top of my head, the auto, the plant closure in Oshawa, and there's a huge uproar over that, and rightfully so, but people need to realize that if the oil and gas industry goes bye-bye, that's going to be the first of many auto plants to shut down. They, they need to realize that oil and gas is part of our... Uh, part of our lifestyle. We're not going to get rid of it. Okay. Trudeau is not welcome. He can stay off our land. I'm here to stand in solidarity with the Wet'suwet'en people. They were forcibly removed from their land because of pipelines. And we are the welcome with the, the uh, traditional people of this land. And the same thing is happening to us. We're being forcibly removed from our land which is destroying our culture, our language, our family, everything. We depend on the land for our survival, and we have to protect it with everything we've got. Turn it around. Freedom for treason. I support the Wet'suwet'en people and their sovereignty and the right to their land. It's a brown bag lunch here. I don't support the uh, people that are being blocked from work. I don't agree with that. I, I agree that they should be allowed to work and in uh, negotiations with the uh, people in the surrounding areas. I go to sweat lodges with some of those people, so I really know them intimately. Um, and I do support their cause. I do support their right to their land. Yeah, but I don't support the uh, I don't support the aggressive way the nature they were forced out of their position. Uh, I believe there was a way around that negotiation. Yeah, it was uh, kind of sudden for those people, and I brought signs for those people. But I'm a yellow vest. I made signs for them because I knew they'd be here, and I know they need support too.